my dear viewers today is chicken special so I'm going to show you how to make a very easy um, pepper chukka masala so to get started the ingredients are very simple I have taken about one teaspoon of fennel seeds I've taken about one teaspoon of jeera seeds or cumin seeds and one and a half teaspoons of peppercorns black peppercorns in here and I've also taken about half a teaspoon of desiccated coconut which is dried now I'm going to dry roast these ingredients Now I'm getting a very beautiful toasted aroma from my spices. I'm just going to gently grind them up into a coarse mixture. Now that is how the mixture must be ground into a coarse masala. Now we are going to take about two tablespoons of gingerly oil on a hot pan. I'm going to gently put in about quarter teaspoon of fennel seeds and I'm gonna give it a mix in the oil now I'm going to use my sprig of curry leaves I'm gonna just gently pinch it with my fingertips and I'm just going to put that on the pan and let it cook now here I've got about um, roughly 15 shallots that I've cut and uh, diced into small pieces so I'm going to put that in to the pan Now about at this stage I'm going to drop in about one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Now the ginger garlic paste has incorporated very well into the onion mixture. What I'm going to do is now show you my chicken that has been marinating. So this chicken is about 200 grams by weight and I have just put some uh, turmeric and some rock salt in it and marinated for about an hour before I'm, I'm making this. There's absolutely no need to marinate for about an hour. Um, even 15 to 20 minutes is okay. So now I'm going to drop this chicken into uh, my pan what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water and close the pan for about four to five minutes So now I'm going to add about a little bit of water, quarter cup. I 
I'm gonna close the lid of my pan for about three to five minutes now. It's been about five minutes now, so I'm gonna open the pan and see how my chicken has turned out. And that's exactly what I want. I want my chicken to not be too dry, but just succulent and tender and completely cooked. Pepper chicken masala. Now let this cook for another 2 to 3 minutes. Keep sauteing, tossing and turning and check for your salt seasoning. So if you want you can add just about 2 teaspoons of water or 1 tablespoon of water if you want your gravy to not be a sukha masala or a chuka masala. Uh, in Tamil we call that a sukha, very similar to the word uh, sukha in Hindi. So if you want to you can add a little bit of water. So I'm going to close the lid for yet another two minutes on high flame. It's been about two minutes now. I'm going to open the pan and see how my pepper chicken masala has turned out. That is ultimately gorgeous. Perfect. Look at that. That's exactly how you want your pepper chicken to be made. Succulent, tender and a beautiful peppery color with shallots. So I'm going to garnish with chopped coriander leaves. And turn off the stove. Now that's how pepper chicken must look. This is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. It's very appetizing. You can use this pepper chicken as a side for dosa, chapati, roti, naan, fulkas. Uh, you can even have it as a side for your biryani or rice. Now go make this absolutely gorgeous, easy to make pepper chicken and um, share it with your loved ones. And do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel, Limitless Curry.